Yeah, and I really like the idea of looking for smaller cap companies. The companies that are least efficient have had the most trouble mm -hmm. dealing with regulations, mm -hmm. I think will benefit the most. They will benefit from M&A activity. If you really think about the people who are in charge here, Trump, um, you know, a bunch of the others, they really have made their fortune running small privately held companies. So I think a lot of the laws that will get passed and the policies that get passed will be really advantageous for small companies to grow using debt. And not because they're trying to favor themselves right. or anything, it's because what they understand. And I think we all wind up doing and trying to put in place things that we understand. So anything that will benefit from it being a small private company allowed to do what you want to do, okay. raise debt when you need, I think is very positive. And at the same time, as we continue to grow, I'd be looking overseas. I think European banks, some of them, they've been beaten down. There's opportunities there. So I would take, you know, some of my more risky money. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's that 5%, 10% of the most risky. I'd be looking outside the U.S. here. I'd be looking at European banks, things that have been beaten down and will benefit from, you know, any form of stability and any form of U.S. growth.